We'll guide you through how to add audio to Google Slides. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. You may want to add some audio of you speaking or maybe some music. It doesn't matter, I'll show you how. So first of all, you need to have the audio file. So if you want to add some of you speaking, then what you'll need to do is firstly go and record it and then save it to your computer. To do that, you can come to the bottom of your computer, click on the search and type in recorder, just like so and open up sound recorder, record it and then save it. Once you've got the sound file, whether it be music or you speaking, it doesn't matter. You need to open up your Google Drive. So if you haven't been here before, literally just search Google Drive into Google and come to the site or just type in drive.google.com and it's basically an online storage platform by Google. And now all we need to do is go and add the file here. So what you can do is open up your file explorer just down here and then you can find the file. As you can see here, mine is here. Make sure it is an audio file like a WAV file or MP3 and then drag it into your drive just like so. It's now uploading. Wait for it to finish as it has now and then come back to your slides. Go to the slide which you want to go and add the audio to and then once you've got the side selected, go to the top and click on insert, then click on audio and your drive will open. And as you can see, I can then go and select the audio file here. This is what I just uploaded. So I've now selected it and I can go and click on insert like so. It now says it's creating the audio, so just wait. And here it is in the bottom left. And then you've got some settings in the right hand side here. So you can have it playing automatically or on click, which means I'll need to go and click it. Um, and you can have it if you want to loop and if you want it to stop when the slides are changed. So that's all up to you and you can also go and adjust the volume as well. And I can then go and hear it. And what you can also do is go and resize it as well, just like this. And you can go and move it around as well to whatever you want. But it's that simple. And as you can see, you can just go and hover over it and you then have the play button, which can be pressed. So that's it. If you guys found this useful, then please leave a like.